everybody, welcome to Twitch's T Tarot. I am Twitch or Tarot, however you want to call me. Um, I decided to come on here tonight. I was actually over on Facebook and it was dead, man. I was not feeling the vibe at all. Then my second device died, so I wasn't even freaking worried about it. And I was going to start off anyways on TikTok, so that tells me that that is what I'm supposed to do is be here on the talk. So, what I'm doing tonight is just some free reads. I'm going to go to who I am drawn to. Um, donations are greatly appreciated and they go all to the Twitches fund. All my info is in the bio if you would like to donate. Um, other than that, I'm going to go to who I'm drawn to. We're just going to rock out tonight, honestly. Um, if you would like a reading from me, the only thing that I do ask is if you guys could write your name and whether you want a general or a specific question. Okay, hey, and then that's pretty much it. I'm going to kind of just go with the flow and go where I go. So if you'd like, you can share me out. That'd be awesome. Um, so yeah, we're just going to dive right in. I hope everybody is doing well, having a safe and awesome weekend. Um, shit, I put up the pool, whatever. There was a whole situation with the pool today here in my life, and fuck that pool. And But it's as even, whatever. I need a pool though. So that's what it is. All right. So we're going to just dive right in. So if anybody would like a free reading, just let me know and we will just rock it from there. And by the way, it is Friday. Oh, I love the gift. Thank you. So, Cheerio, Garge. Is it Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. Shit, it's been a long week. All right, Bella, is my boyfriend still interested? I feel like I'm going to do the wisdoms tonight, too. As you guys know, I'm always open and honest about what decks I use. Um, I'm not one of those readers who's like, oh, my God, my deck is so sacred, I can't tell you. Um, I use the Defiant Moon Tarot, the Borderless Edition, and I also, tonight, for the Oracles, I'm going to use Vintage Wisdom. So... All right, we're going to dive right in. Bella, is my boyfriend still interested? Is my boyfriend still interested? I do feel like there is an interest, but right now there is some sort of separation going on communication-wise is what I'm really picking up. Um, Because I do feel like there is the want to be in this steady union, but right now I feel like you guys are really at this crossroad. Okay, um, again, I keep on feeling a lot of miscommunication. I feel like within the past like seven to ten days, there might have been something stated that was totally mis misconstrued. You know what I mean? So right now it's kind of in the breathing phase is what I'm feeling like. But I do feel like there's interest and I feel like there still is going to be a union. But it shows that you guys are in this tower moment right now. So with that going on with the chaos and everything else, this is now the opportunity. See, the tower for me is not just one of like, oh my God, this huge moment. It's also one of being able to grow and take a different route than what was prior in your past. So I really feel like with this relationship, there needs to be an openness and vulnerability because I feel like for a little while now, there's been this hindrance again with the communication. I feel like there's one party who's really not wanting to be super emotional. I'll just call it what it is. Have that little heart space open a little bit. There's something going on with the heart space is big time what I'm feeling right now. Okay. Um, and I also feel like I'm going to double it, but right now it, it does show the stagnant energy. But again, new beginning is ahead. I'd say give it a little couple days, if anything. If there is any communication, it might be a little blah. If you guys are living together, it might feel like the roommate zone for like a day or two. But I really feel like you guys are going to come back and communicate with us, okay? Because it's going to put you back in this high priestess power, which was one for me of balance but logic at the same time, okay? So that is what I have for you. Yes, interest is there. They want to be in union still there, but it's getting over this hump and it's getting over this hump together. This is going to take openness and vulnerability on both of your sides. Okay. Let's see. What guidance do we have? What is the guidance that Bella could use right now for this time? Don't for oh, new beginnings. Can't make it up, man. So I cannot make that up. So 
that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for letting me read you. I truly, truly appreciate it. I so appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Um, I think Kiki. Kiki. I was like super drawn to that name. Will Dan and I reconcile in the future? Kiki, you are still here. <clears throat> All right, guys. How's everybody doing? All right. Ooh, there is a lot of ambition and the want to be in union, but there is like this moment, and I'm really even feeling it really heavy. You're feeling this in your chest, okay? And I like you. There's something going on with the throat chakra. Not a lot of speaking on this. There's just a lot of internal emotions that are being withheld right now. Um, I do feel like there could be a reconciliation. I don't feel like it's going to be a long lasting one though. Um, there's a lot of imbalance involving the unions, and I feel like there's one that's actually going through a karmic lesson right now. Um, the more of the masculine energy is not aligning with the feminine in this one. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be this instantaneous like growth and everything else because somebody is really afraid of whatever, I'll be honest, of whatever the little mishap was with you guys reconciling. Um, I don't know if there was a trigger of past trauma that has just recently arose. It's kind of what I'm vibing. Um, but I feel like feel like if there's the willingness to be an openness, there is a chance for a new beginning, but it's going to take some time. It's truly going to take some time. But I feel like right now, Spirit's saying, even though there's an imbalance in the reconciliation, Spirit's kind of giving you both a moment to reflect and to heal some of the things of your guys' past. Um, I do feel like in this energy, though, you are the more spiritually ascended one. I'm just, I'm just going to call it as I see it. But I do. I feel like you're becoming more in tune with who you are internally. And there's a little bit of struggle on the masculine side for that because they're also, it's like a mirror. Okay. But how we act within that mirror is completely on this. I do not do pregnancy, legal or health unless it's brought up by spirit. Okay. Um, but I do, I feel like we're in this and uh, I just feel this energy. I'm just like this back and forth. Um, I do feel like one wants to be in a union. I feel like both of you want to be in union, but right now there's like a negative square zero. Flat out, negative square zero. Expression is going to mean in this expression. And for me, innocence, okay? The innocence is something that I feel like innocence for me is a vulnerability and a fresh perspective. Think about a child. When you see a child that sees something new and beautiful, they don't think of anything else about be other than how beautiful that is or how in the moment and their eyes sparkle because it's a newness. It's a new perspective. It's a new emotion that they can bring in. And I feel like spirit's really saying Bring that into it. If you guys are able to come together and have this communication, bring that into the situation. A new perspective also brings new opportunity. Okay? But I see a lot of self-healing. I do. I see a lot of self-healing. All right. Let's go to Rosemary. Will things get better for me and my children? How is everybody doing? Throw up hearts and like everything else. I wish I could throw up hearts to you guys. Anybody got plans this weekend? I put up a pool. That was fun. It's not fun. I'm making bread tomorrow. Um, Tomorrow's my no phone day. So I go like completely no phone whatsoever. Hang out with the kids all day on Saturdays. So, or read or catch up and stuff. All right, who am I drawn to next? I hope everybody's doing well. Everybody's doing well. Ronald, is Kim seeing someone else? <sighs> I step into your energy and I'm getting instant anxiety. Instant. So, <clears throat> whew, 
Holy crap. So I do not feel that there is a third party energy, but I do not feel that there is a record. Like, I don't feel like there is a solid foundation with the two of you either. Um, I do feel like if I got to affirm this because it's like, I kind of feel a third party energy, but it's not a third party as far as like a physical person. You know what I mean? Like a third party can also be a mental thing and a detachment, you know, um, I know that I've been shown that there's been third parties and it ends up being because there's a detachment within the relationship. So your mind is somewhere else, your heart's somewhere else. Um, I do feel like there is not a technical, physical third party, um, but I do feel like there is this discontent and this mindset of wanting to find a different Ace of Pentacles in their life. Um, I feel like there's a crossroads honestly as well. I don't know if one person is feeling like they're just on this level and this other person is feeling a little low or the energies are just not matching it anymore. Um, I really feel like there's growth and there's been a lot, like this has been a, I'll call it what it is. There's been a lot of this opening up and part of healing in this relationship. I feel for both of you, honestly, but I see even with the wounds, there's a new beginning for both of you. Now, whether that's together or not, uh, that's where the truth is lying right now. Because it shows that there's an opportunity for it, but it's going to take some time. And it's going to take steady movement towards this. Um, this is also cancer. So there might be a little bit of stagnant energy for the next couple of weeks. Um, that could shift by July or the end of July. Um, it's really going to take some patience and it's going to take a little bit of understanding to get past this moment. But as far as the third energy in the physical form, talking, situation shipping, no, I do not feel that whatsoever. So that's just what I have for you. Okay. <clears throat> Rosemary, will things get better for me and my children? So that's just what I have. Will things get better for me and my children? I felt an instant yes. Um, right now, and I'm not even shuffling cards. This is all coming to me intuitively. I feel like you're waiting on some sort of paperwork or contract with a certain situation. Um, it could be including homing, housing. Um, I just heard apartment. So I feel like that's actually going to be coming into fruition way faster than you expected. Um, I really feel like things are going to start getting better way faster than you than you are feeling right now mamas and i'm just gonna call it as rosemary i'm stepping into your energy you are doing everything you can as a mom myself i want to give you that reminder sweetheart you're a queen and you are doing the best that you can for those babies and you hold your crown high okay you got this you got this you are a strong soul and you are a determined soul you have taken a lot of your lessons and turned them into blessings and you keep going you keep on going on, okay? Um, I keep on feeling something around August. There's something going on with August that's really pivotal for you. So I don't know whether that's going to be the move or there's going to be an uptick going on financially. There's going to be something, like I'm feeling it, like there's going to be something that's going to be life-changing in this situation. Um, I also heard right. So I don't know if you are one who writes down their thoughts or writes down their story, but I'm telling you, you could help people. I feel like you're going to take this and you're going to turn this into a very creative positive and you're going to help a lot of people in the future with your story. And you're going to look back. I, I, I always feel, I, always, I feel a year. So a year from now, you're going to look back and go, it's just going to hit you. Like I can feel it. Like it's just going to hit you and you're going to have those chills and you're going to be like, boom, I did it. I fucking did it. All right, let's get to the cards. That's what I was just feeling intuitively. So let's get to the cards. All right. Things get better for Rosemary and Hitchell. Yep. Your pentacles will get more too. Right now you're in the building blocks. I know that you're feeling like that. Pentacles are upside down as well, all right? I know that you're feeling like, you know, there's a lot of things coming in stress, but union is coming. Union's coming. Those pentacles are going to shift as well, okay? 
And But right now, we're in this transitional moment. There's a lot of growth and expansion headed your way. It's literally just, and it's things beyond your control. It's the waiting game. I'll just call it what it is. It is the waiting game. So keep on keeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they flew out everywhere. All right. I love it. So yeah, you got you got an uptick coming on. You're gonna get out of this energy and it's not gonna serve you anymore. That union that you want, that yin and yang that's going to come into transition for you, it's right along the corner, okay? And I feel like in the end, you're gonna get back into your Empress energy. Not only are you going to bring the heart into your future, you're bringing all the lessons and blessings that you learned into it. You know, the one thing, it sucks when you're a spiritual person sometimes, and I don't mean that in a shitty way, so don't come bashing me, but it's like, damn, you feel it on such a different level. You really do. And it's like, you want to go to such a pivotal moment, and I just want to help everybody. That's like my biggest thing. But I feel like with you, you are empathic rosemary so you feel like not only you but you feel your surroundings you're very like <sighs> you literally give your last penny for somebody if you could absolutely and i feel that wholeheartedly and all those things that you have done all those kind things is going to come back and it's going to come back full all right sweetheart let me know if what hits on august though there's something beautiful that's hitting in august for you okay so that's just what I have for you. Brighter days are coming, babe. All right. There was. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. LaShonda, general. General. All right. General. Ooh. You are getting out of this discernment phase that you are in. You are leaving your hermit mode. All right. You got a lot of growth and you got a lot of things that are coming to fruition. I feel like there's a creative project your way. Um, whether that's involving work or a promotion or a project, there's something going on with the creative energies for you. Okay. And partnership is a big thing that I'm feeling for you. Um, I feel like the last couple of months, you've done a lot of self growth and reflection on things. Um, I even feel like there's been a little bit of disconnection with certain people that no longer fit your vibe. And it doesn't mean that you don't like them, but they no longer are able to eat at your table because you are vibing. You have done so much self-reflection these past months and so much growth that you're coming into this level of now. I'm in this phase. I'm growing, but I'm also glowing. You know, and I really feel like for you, this is going to do nothing but keep on upticking. I do feel, though, that there is a situation that has a little bit of dissolution. If you are not dealing with this person, I'll just call it what it is. It's a person. If you ain't dealing with this little fucking hot dog water vibes, be wary of who is in your environment. Um, I also feel like this might have to do something with work, whether it's a BS talker or just like there, there's something a little off with the circle and somebody doing a little bit more talking than they're walking. All right. And you're actually going to call it out. And not only you're going to call it out, you're going to walk away from it. Cause you're going to be like, you know what? I don't need this. Like you are not part of this energy. And that's just what it is. That's just what it is. <sighs> yeah. Cause that's followed by the tower moment, that dissolution, that lie, that tower moment. But then the fool is right behind, which is new beginnings. Tower moment, just because it seems crappy in the moment, does that mean, you know, rejection is protection and redirection. So I really feel in that, just be wary again of your surroundings. But you know what? You're going to bounce back. Not only is it going to bring an uptick in your creative processes, it's going to bring an uptick in how you proceed from there on out involving this situation. Okay? You are a free, free little spirit too. Is there something going on with outdoors? I don't know why I'm hearing that, but I keep on feeling like outdoors. So I don't know if you're like in the process of like doing some gardening, some like, uh, I don't know. There's something going on. So that's kind of what I'm feeling for you. If you're not, maybe spirits saying get a house plant. <laughs> I don't freaking know. I just get the messages. They come in and out. It is insane sometimes. It generally is insane. All right.
keep hope. That is it. All oh, the sun is shining. That's beautiful. You're going to get through that phase, though. That little general dissolution, that's your tower moment is going to be as quick as it came in, as they came out, and you're coming out shining. So that's is what I have for you. I hope that that resonates, love. All right. I seen one April divorce. Um, whether it's going through or whether it is um, not. Because I just heard between the lines. So what is going on with that? There's something going on with paperwork. I don't know if they're, which I usually don't get, but it's like super, super ringing. And that was for April. I am looking. April. I don't know why I keep on scooting up. There. April. All right, I am trying to catch up with this with the freaking comments. I'm sorry, I'm so bad. Okay, Ashley, is my relationship with Robert going to last? Oh, happening. Okay, all right, I'm gonna get you right after April. There she is. Happening. Is April divorce going to happen? I feel like both of y'all are at an impasse with this. I don't know why I'm feeling that vibe, but I'm kind of feeling that vibe. Y'all are at an impasse. Um, I don't know if there's something. I kind of feel like there might be something going on financially, or there's just not a rush. Because I don't know why I keep on feeling that. But it's like, I don't know how to, ex I don't know how to bring that up. Oh, my God. Oh, I just heard soul irritation. So it's like a soul connection. You know that y'all freaking just irritate each other's soul, but you dig each other and like, you try, you try. You try. All right. Is this divorce happening? I might pull out the pendulum for that, honestly. Yeah, there's something going on with paperwork as well. And the masculine energy is not, like, really going into the mode of, like, there's no, there's not a lot of movement. I'll just, there's not a lot of movement with the masculine energy. No rush to really do anything. Um, because I see, like, there is a little bit of a setback involving some sort of paperwork. Stagnant. Stagnant energy. Um... I just heard five, which is crazy because I like, I, yeah, five. So it could be five weeks. It could be five months. So take five as you get it. Just so you know, take five as you get it because there's somebody who's just like not doing this, but you, okay. It's not going to happen soon. It's not, you got the death in reverse. And for me, that is not um, a new beginning. That is kind of staying in the stagnant energy is a big thing that I'm feeling right now. And again, I think it has to deal with the paperwork and this masculine energy is just taking their sweet and cherry picking time. And I laugh. I don't know why I'm so giggly, but it's seriously kind of the vibe that I'm getting. Because somebody's like, damn it, I just want my cups. And I'm like doing all these movements and making sure my life is cool and copacetic. And then you're a dragon ass. But it is what it is. Yeah, because there's like anxieties being released. Somebody has the world card, which means like for me, world is a yes. So, it's really, it will happen, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. See what's going on with that paperwork, too. There's something going on. I don't know why I just heard probate, too, and that doesn't make any sense involving that. But there's something going on involving the paperwork. All right. That is what I have for you. All right. Let's see who I am drawn to. I just had one, and now I can't remember who I said I was going to do next. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know if any of you guys are readers or in the spiritual realm, but, like, am I seriously the only one who has spiritual entity? 
it like literally goes in one ear out the other and then like i don't know out my fucking window because i cannot remember shit about shit thank you i brushed it i brushed my hair today that sounded so bad i brush my hair every day <laughs> thank you i can't take compliments I can't. I cannot take a compliment to save my life. I really can't. Okay. Mastra72. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. No wonder I'm the Twitch witch. Like, seriously. No wonder I'm the Twitch witch. I really am, though. Okay. Did you have a question or did you have a general? Because I already fucking forgot. My eye's twitching. Is there something going on with your eye? Like, for real. My eye just got, like, super dry. And I don't know if it... Whatever. I'm just gonna shush. And it doesn't wait for your question. I'm ridiculous, y'all. I ain't freaking ridiculous. This is really who I am. This is what I do. Okay. Is my relationship with Robert going to last? Hold on a second. Okay. I'm filling up a pool right now, so I had to look out the window to make sure I wasn't overflowing it. Because, you know, but for real, my eye twitched. It was crazy. All right. So your relationship with Robert's going to last. I just heard, yes. Relationship going to last. How is everybody doing? The opportunity is there for it to last. Absolutely. But you know what? It's going to take this immature. It's going to take some of this immature mentality to kind of step back. There is somebody who's not speaking right now on the real heavy shit. Okay. Only you will know what that is. Um, cause I, I might know, but I'm not that type of reader to blast shit like that. Cause I think it's messed up when people do. So, but you do, you guys have the opportunity for growth. You guys have the opportunity for this ascension. It is going to take the release of these damn walls. Y'all got up around these heart spaces. Okay. Because when I step into your energy, you are in this freaking anxiety freaking energy okay you're up at night and you got this little ass devil on your shoulder going but but what it but what can i do what is it how can i do this I could, like you are so wrapped up and you just gotta chills okay because right now you're putting yourself in this hermit mode okay you're, you're, you're doing it. You're putting yourself in this hermit mode and you are putting yourself in this defensive mode. Your heart space is hurt right now. I totally can understand that, you know, totally get it. But you are, you're kind of in this discernment. You're kind of in this heart space right now. But the queen of swords, even though she's hurt, she keeps going. You know, she's one that is definitely one to bear the fruit of the burden in a lot of different ways because she's able to grow past that point and not only just put the emotions aside, but she sets things aside to get shit done. I kind of feel like you're about to step into the mindset if you already have not and get those things into motion. Do I, like I said, I feel like there's a reconciliation. Um, fucking knew it. Yeah, it's a wish for You got a ton of cups. I mean, seriously, I love the ton of cups. That's like, ton of cups is one of my favorite cards. I love the ton of cups and that's, I do. I do love the ton of cups. And honestly, I do love the queen as well. All right, let's get some guidance on you. But yeah, I do. What is some guidance that we could give for this situation? What is some guidance we can get? Surrender. I love how it's like that. She's closing her eyes. She's taking a leap of faith in all that discernment, the pain, the judgment, the one-sidedness, perception, growth. She's letting all that go and she's surrendering. And butterflies is a transformation for me as well. I do believe that butterflies like come in transformation. Um, you could also be seeing butterflies as a sign for your guides as well. So if you're seeing butterflies around, talk to them. Say what's up. I named mine Butterball. I cannot believe I just fucking admitted that. But I really did. There's a black and yellow butterfly that visits me every day. And I named the damn thing Butterball. Just like Samson the squirrel. Who's got no tail. 
Yep. But I love Samson, dude. Samson's cool. He's my buddy. So, I love that fucking squirrel. He went missing for like a week, dude. I flipped out. I was like, oh my God, where is Samson? All right. Amber, anything general? Amber, general. All right. I hope you guys are having fun. These readings are resonating. Let me know if they are. And if they're not, be brutally honest with me. I'm growing. I'm in an awakening right now. And I'm a hot fucking mess. Okay? I really am. But I swear. I try. And I give my all for you guys. I really do. Oh. 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 All right. Why are you feeling that way? Hmm? You're all just mashed up. You're like mashed potatoes with no butter. Okay? I'm just going to call it what it is. All right? There's a lot of... You are not feeling imbalance right now. There is something going on with... Honestly, I feel like your root chakra is kind of not aligned right now. Root chakra is never aligned for anybody. I'll just call it what it is. It's really not. But there's something going on extra with your root chakra. You are feeling very imbalanced internally, and it's actually reflecting in your external environment right now as well, okay? Um, I feel like you're kind of in this mode right now where you're like, damn, do I have all the steps to make it to this next phase? I want to do this growth. I want to do this next transformation of my life. I just don't know how the hell I'm going to get there. All right? Like, that's really what I'm feeling. But you're in the process of doing this internal work um, is what I'm seeing. So if you're not writing or doing, there's something going on with your dreams. I don't know why I keep on feeling this, but like there's something going on with your dreams, whether you're not sleeping enough or you are getting some sort of messages. Um, I feel like there's even been moments where you've woken up in the middle of the night and you might have felt a presence around you or just like, what is going on? Why am I waking up like this? The first thing that comes to your mind within those three seconds, my best suggestion is to write it down. I do this. I know it's, you know, one of those things, especially if I'm getting a super strong dream. Um, take those. Even if it doesn't resonate in that moment, it could be something that you could look back on in a couple weeks and be like, holy shit, that, that is what I freaking needed to hear. That is the titty and the twist, and that's what I fucking needed it. You know what I mean? So there's something going along with those lines, but there is this release of anxiety and this dissolution. Let's see where we're going with this. You're at a crossroads. You're at a choice. And I feel like this choice is going to take you to that next level that you want. There is this, there is a situation that I honestly feel that you're contemplating leaving in the past. And honestly, I feel like it's not anything personal, but I feel like it just, you're kind of like, I don't know if this serves me anymore. The answer is no. I got that loudest fucking day. And plus you got the lover's card, which for me is a choice card. That's a transition in your life and where you want to go. But right now you're in this like mode of like, which direction do I go? Do I use the knowledge or do I follow my heart? You know, um, I do feel like you are going to make this move. Things are going to start coming up. I keep on hearing 10. So it could be 10 weeks. It could be 10 days. You could also be seeing the number 10 a lot um, in your like environment, things of that nature. Sorry, I'm getting a little like tongue tied. I feel like you're really not speaking on things either. You're keeping a lot of things internally, which I think the writing could be a definite beautiful thing that could help with that, ascend to that. And also, I feel like there's if there's not anybody in your current right now, I feel like there's somebody that's coming into your life soon. Um, this is a person who actually is a very healing soul connection for you. Um, I think it's not even I think I kind of think that it's gonna turn into something more if you are single, but this is going to be a very strong friendship and this is gonna be a very good bond. Um, I feel like this person is coming in and it's not just a season. This is somebody who is going to ascend with you, and I feel like you guys are really gonna grow together and it's gonna be a genuine friendship. You know what I mean? Like that's really what the vibe that I'm getting. So if you're feeling like there ain't a lot of real people in your circle, or you're just like, I'm done with the BS. You're ascending and you're going to meet up with the same people that matches your vibe. You know what I mean? It's easier for a low vibe to knock down a high vibe than it is for a high vibe to bring a low vibe up. 
you know, and I, it's something that I've learned the past couple years myself. Remember, I do these readings. I love you guys, but th it's true. I'm still learning. Anybody who says that they've learned everything in the spiritual world is a bullshitter. Flat the fuck out. There is way too much. Okay. And then your gifts stop. Why would you want that to happen? We do this because we love you. So I really feel like those coming into to ascension, pay attention to the tents. Okay. Allow those things to grow. Allow those things to come into fruition. But that one thing that you are questioning yourself on, that's a no-go. That's hot dog water vibes. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. That's definitely what I'm feeling is a no-no-no. All right. I'm going to get you a guide card. You're in that thought. You're in that process. You're going to that next level that you want to go to. And... Be gentle to yourself. And I love this card. This is actually one of my favorite cards in the wisdom deck besides the power card. Because for me, gentleness is not just like, oh, be soft and gentle. Be gentle to yourself. And white is also clarity and protection. For me, the color white and black is like my protection colors. So <clears throat> you're divinely protected in this. I just want you to know that. Um... I actually can feel one of your guides right now as well. It's a female. So if there was somebody that was close to you that possibly have passed, this female is kind of like she's with you all the time. So if you feel a presence sometime, I don't know why I just heard hallway. That's your guide. Okay. She just yelled, I'm here. So... All right, Amanda General. And thank you guys for the ones that have been here for a hot minute. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. If you guys would like, you can share me out. I would love that. Um, if you dig my vibe, follow me. So if not, that's okay too. I still wish you the best. All right, Amanda Z General. What is the lesson and blessing we have for Amanda tonight? What is the lesson and blessing? Why do you feel like you can't have this choice when you have all the things to make this choice? You have built so many blocks for yourself. You are totally this king of cups energy. Like you have been focusing so much on like your stability, your financial growth, like the things that you want, the things where you're going, like, but, but there's something going on in the minds, man. There's something going on in the mind space. I feel like your third is a little cloggy too. Um, and honestly, I feel like your soul star is too. If you guys do not know, there are more than just the, you know, basic seven chakras that we know. We actually have an eighth and ninth chakra. The eighth chakra is the soul star chakra. Amanda, I feel like you need to kind of check out some soul star chakra meditations. I actually have one on my YouTube um, if you guys don't know, I actually have a YouTube channel where you can see all the lives replayed. I do horoscopes every week, um, things of that. But I also have a playlist of the meditations that um, that I've used, that I've, you know, been suggested. I've always, like, looked into them and stuff like that. But and my playlist, playlist is has been the most helpful meditations for me. So I can say that that's one thing. That I can say there's something going on with the soul star. You're a little disaligned. All right. So <clears throat> that is what I'm feeling. But you're in this you're in this energy and you're gonna go places. There's something going on with your finances or career that's actually going to do an uptick. Okay. So I totally feel like you're about to ascend in this Oh, I said it. Promotion. So if there's something going on with your career, be open and be ready for this next level financially for you. Because there's an uptick in your finances and you have busted your ass to get there. I just want to give you like props. You have busted your ass to get there. All right. That is. So, yeah. You're going to this next level. Um, I even feel with this promotion, you're going to be able to be open more creatively as well in this job space. Um, I feel like there's also could be classes or some sort of further education when it comes to this career change or this job um, promotion. If you, you know, if you're happy with it, hi, how are you? 
Um, but I do, I feel like there's going to be an uptick in your finances and career. Okay. So the only thing that I can see being a little bit like, eh, is there could be a little bit of a wait time for this to happen. I keep on hearing 11. So I don't know if you're seeing 11 11s. Um, but there's something going on with 11 for me with you. Okay. Um, I want you to actually look up angel number 118. Okay. Because I really feel like there's a message for you in that. So I don't see Amber commenting anymore or I don't see her commenting anymore. Oh, well, I'm going to do it anyways, and then if she sees it, she sees it. But you're on the path to a new beginning. So, enjoy that. You got this. You got this. So, Valerie, will everything get better for me soon? All right. Will everything get better for me soon? How is everybody doing? Happy freaking Friday or Saturday, wherever you're at in the world. Where are you guys from? Where are you at? So, no, thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate, and I love that your screen name is Queens. I love that. All right. I'm in Michigan. I am in Michigan. So. Michigan. Michigan is like kind of cool. It actually is. It has its moments. Has its moments. Oh, I've always wanted to go to Louisiana. All right, Valerie, will things get better? I've gone to Ohio a few times. I actually don't mind Ohio. I've been to uh, Ohio, Cali. Uh, why am I drawing a blank? West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee. Illinois, Missouri. I didn't like Indiana. I only was Indiana, in Indiana for like a little bit though. I didn't get to really explore. All right. All right. You're asking about finances, Valerie. Yes. If you are asking anything about finances, yes, things are going to get better. But this is a very slow energy that I'm feeling, okay? Because there's a lot of anxieties going on right now. There's a lot of sleepless nights kind of getting... Where am I going to go? How am I going to do this? Um, I don't know if you are about to make a change as far as your finances or a job. But if you are not, there could be an opportunity that's going to come for you because this cycle is going to end. You know, with the judgment card, even though there was, you know, it kind of looks like shit on the bottom. Let's just call it what it is. Everybody's like a little malnourished and tired. This is a new beginning. This is bringing the light back into place and rebalancing yourself. Okay, um, and your external environment is a big thing that I'm feeling. So as far as the pentacles, the pentacles are going to come back into play. Finances are going to even back out, but it is going to take the motivation and the determination, which I feel like you are doing. And I feel like, honestly, there's something going on in the external environment that's kind of making the waiting game happen. That is about to shift, like big time about to shift. Okay, because even though it's the Knight of Cups and even, I kind of like the Knight of Cups, he's a determined energy. He's one who is able to go to this next level, but he's also one where he needs to be like, yo, let's get this. Let's do this. You got this. Like, you know that you got this, but it also brings the opportunity. Okay, that's a big thing that I'm feeling for you. Um, if you're stuck in a career that you don't like, I really don't think that you're going to stay. I keep on seeing a closing out of this cycle and the allowance and a refilling of your cups. Because I just, I, it just keeps on popping out involving a career change or a shift. And it's actually going to open up this creative wall, this creative blockages. If you have been having creative blockages, this is going to open up for you. Um, I don't know if you're actually also thinking about possibly turning a hobby into like a little side hustle or a self-improved, like some, there's something going on with that as well is a big thing that I'm feeling like that's going to come into fruition too. And that's going to be financially successful. That's a big thing that I'm feeling for you. Like, yes, it will get better. Things are going to realign and things are going to grow. Big. Union, yin and yang. The balance will be there for you again. I 
I don't really feel anything super fast. I'm just being honest. I don't. Um, I just heard New Year, so there could be a big shift for you around the New Year. Um, but I don't think it's like slow and steady wins the race. That's a big thing that I'm feeling right now. Is slow and steady wins the race for you. <laughs> patience. You received patience. Slow and steady wins the race. That's what I have for you. I hope that that resonates. I really do. And if I ain't connecting with y'all, say something. Be like, Tara, Tara, you're off your shit. You're off it tonight, girl. Okay. Is Jonathan P. the right one? All right. Yes, you will, Remy. I just heard 25. So I don't know if that is in 2025, but I just heard 25 for you. I just heard building? 25 building. Yeah. That's on. I've never gotten that before. That was really specific. So that's what I got for you, Remy. Is Jonathan P the right one? Jonathan P the right one. Oh, yeah. You see this? Emperor, Empress, y'all are an equal match. You guys ascend. You guys match each other. Like, but it makes you both so nervous. All right. I'm just going to call it what it is. Y'all make each other nervous, but in like the kind of nice way. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. But you guys are meant to be for each other. He's an emperor energy. You're an empress energy. That's a lot of union and equalness that can be brought to the table. That's a beautiful balance as well. I'll be, I'll call it what it is. That's a motherfucking power couple. That's what that is. Okay. Followed by the queen of cups. I like the queen of cups. I love the queen of cups because she's all about that. She's all about having that completion, having that stability and having the logical and emotional in balance. All right. She is one who likes her cups filled and likes it filled at a very normal pace. All right. She's also one of growth and she is also one of prosperity as well. Lord, I cannot. No. Yeah. Yeah. This is a soul connect card. Just so y'all know, this is a soul card. So y'all are soul connected. I honestly feel like, oh, maybe. I don't know. I just kept in here in 25, Remy, like big time. Join the art thing that you want to in the summer. I, why do I feel like there's something going on with summer for you as well, Remy? Join it. There's a contest. Do it. Do it. So, but now, nah, what I feel for you guys, yes, John P is the one for you. He is the fucking cookies to your milk and the cheese to your macaroni. Y'all need to have good conversation. Keep it steady and flow with it. Don't add pressure is a big thing that I'm hearing from Spirit. And I feel like that's for both of y'all because it matches so well that you guys are just like, oh my gosh, I want to do this. And you guys got the great pose. It's a lot of emotions. You all got a lot of lustful emotions in this one. And it's nice. Like, it's so cute when somebody's their favorite crayon. <laughs> I know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so just, I'm an asshole. But I don't mean to be. I swear I don't. <clears throat> so yes, he is the one. Tammy, will you get the job? Tammy, will you get the job? And will it be for the better? Tammy. Yes, you are. You're getting that job. Because whatever is happening in your current, your current I don't know why I'm laughing. 
Oh, Lord, help me. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm ridiculous, y'all. I'm ridiculous, and I probably ain't resonating with y'all, but I don't even care because I'm having fun, and I hope y'all are too because I love doing this, and I love you all. You are dealing with a goddamn fish. Oh, I should not have said that. I do apologize if that offended anybody, but you're dealing with the fish. You're dealing with the fish in the cup, and I feel like this has to do with your current position or career. If you are currently working for somebody that does not make you happy or try to BS the BSer, I just, you know, and I don't think that you're bullshitter by any means, but I feel like they try to say, oh, yeah, we're going to do this. Oh, you're going to work straight 40s. You're going to do this. We're going to give you this race. They were full of shit. Listen to me. They were full of shit. And you are going to walk away from that. Whatever this current energy is, it's like, mm, you're walking away from it. And not. <laughs> Not only is it going to be a fulfillment for you, but see how those pentacles are going. Those pentacles are going. They are going to grow and they're going to keep pushing and it's going to be a steady movement forward. I even feel in this next job, you can have an opportunity to grow through the company. So I don't know if there's something going on where they're like, you know, they like to they like to promote internally, which I love businesses that do that and actually follow through with that. Like, especially like I'm, I'm a huge advocate of small biz and all that type of shit. Like when you're able to grow within a company and they're not hiring some fucking ass who doesn't know anything trying to boss you, I don't feel like that's going to happen. I feel like you're going to grow within this next company and you're going to be appreciated. Like there's going to be a moment and I really feel like it's going to be about six months to a year after you start this new job where they're going to, where you're going to be acknowledged for it. There's going to be some sort of recognition that's coming your way for all the hard work and determination and, you know, just the appreciation that they have for you. I'm being 100%. Whether that's an employee of the month, you get a fucking something. You will be acknowledged for your rewards in this next position. But this little fish, oh, no, it, it's 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 a guppy. You can just throw it back. That face looks fucked up. Why don't you guys say something? You know what I mean? Just throw the fish back. It's a guppy. I can't even feed you. It ain't got no meat. But you about to catch a motherfucking bass. I'll tell you that. Cha-ching. Mount that shit on the wall. Maybe it's like the one that you say. Never mind. I'm about to tell my age. I almost told my age, Lord. That's it. <laughs> That's it, Tara. That's it. You're about to be banned. Because you're a fucking hot mess. But. I remember you do this because you love people. I really do. All right. So that is what I have for you, sweetheart. But yeah, you're totally going to be good. Oh, you're going to be good. I actually feel really drawn to do a wisdom card for you, too. What is the wit? Oh, I love this card, too. You guys, centering. Realign yourself during this. And I feel like this is going to be a rebalance to you, too, because now you are going to see the value of your worth. And people are going to bring that into light but you are going to embrace it like you you're gonna walk with your shoulders back and that is a beautiful thing i that is not arrogant to walk with your shoulders back i am learning that as well because i think i suck at a lot of things in life i am just as human as the rest of y'all i'm spiritual damn it but damn now i'm whining my bad guys all right samantha love reading samantha Oh my god. Sorry to keep moving. I'm just like. Sorry. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for letting me read you. I appreciate you. All right. Did I just say I was going to read somebody and now I freaking lost them? Did I really just lose them? Where, where'd you go? Where, 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 where did you go? Samantha. There you are. Okay. You got your mind on somebody. I kind of feel like this is a past connection or somebody who's kind of giving you the, the tickles, I guess is the best way to describe it. Like they kind of made you feel good. If you are single, this is a new energy that's coming in for you. But there's something involving the past, okay? I cannot shake this past energy in my realm, all right? So, this is a person who kind of made your heart flutter, but 
I'll be honest. There's even the feeling of like right person, wrong time. So I don't know if there's a past energy that you could be reconnecting with. Or if you are with somebody, this is a growth for you and this person. Okay, my fucking eye itches. I'm sorry, guys. Yes, it was. I remembered. So that's kind of what I'm feeling, Samantha. There is this like... There's a past energy that's in your sights and a, and a possibility of a new beginning. I don't know if you want that and I don't, I'm sorry. I'm just telling you what I see in the cards, but I do feel like there's going to be a hindrance if this new beginning comes up, but I don't feel like this is a complete union. Okay. But it shows a new beginning, the possibility of a new beginning. Or if you're currently with somebody, this could be a very shifted ending. I don't know if there's been breakups prior. But it's like this energy is stagnant. This energy is like not moving with this. I think that there might, you know what, I'm going to ask again. I am freaking, I'm taking out the other deck too. I'm bringing out the Alice deck because you know what, I am feeling two parties. If you are not dealing with two parties, I, I'm looking at this spread more and more. And my intuition's like, and it keeps on screaming too. So if you are single or you're dealing with somebody, be prepared for another party to come say hi. And I just felt inbox. I heard inbox. So there might be a message that is coming your way. I'm just letting y'all know. Oh, the deck that I took out is Tarot and Wonderland. I'm going to use my Alice deck. First deck I ever got. I love this damn deck. I just don't, I actually retired it for a couple weeks, but I was just told to break Alice out. So that's what I'm doing. All right. Yeah, there's no movement with that past energy. There's no movement with that past energy, but there is one there because there's so much. There's so much that was put back. And if you are, like I said, if you're in a relationship, this could be a possibility of a new beginning, but it's not happening for a while. There's a lot of stagnancy in this deck. But there's a third party coming in. There's a third party that's going to be coming in or showing itself. Um, and it doesn't, I don't feel like it's like a one of like, if I, this is after this certain situation comes to an end. There's something going on with this. It's just like, I just keep on feeling third party and stagnancy. Okay. So be prepared for these parties coming in. All right. There's one from your past and there's a new one. The one from your past is still on the bullshit. The one from the future, which I'm going to affirm, is a lot more stable. It kind of takes you by surprise, honestly. I feel like this other energy that's coming in... It's like, they're a total opposite of what you expected. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's a very laid back energy. Masculine, he's going to have brown hair. I keep on seeing brown hair. Green eyes. This might even be somebody that you know already, but they might take it to the next step. A friend turned to something more. And you're going to be fulfilled in this. I love when this card comes in reverse because it shows that there's going to be fulfillment, there's going to be an openness, and there's going to be a balance as far as the communication, the growth, the want to grow with an individual. That's a big thing, you know. We all want to be in a relationship, but some people just don't want to put the work to growth and realize that we are still individuals at the end of the day. I don't feel like this is going to happen with this second energy that's coming in. This person is going to allow you because you like your independence. It's a big thing that I'm feeling, Samantha. You, like, like to have your own little space, which is totally cool because I'm the same fucking way. And, like, this person is going to embrace that. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of growth in this one. It's just going to take. But I don't feel anything until next year. I'm sorry. I heard February. I 
I keep, it's like February is literally screaming in my ear right now. So keep February in mind because right now it's a lot of like, close it, you're closing out cycles. You're doing, you're doing a lot of different things. You got judgment twice. I use two different spreads, two different decks and you got judgment twice and you got the hangman twice, which is stagnant energy, which is like, you know, but it's a new beginning. That's the one thing that I love about the hangman. Everybody's like, oh my God, it's stagnant. No, it's a time to learn what you need to learn. So that the next phase in this new beginning is going to take you to a different level. So that's really what I'm feeling with you. Two energies, one from the past and one that you really have the opportunity to grow with. This past energy is going to come in, start talking good, start doing this, start doing that. And they're, they're just going to flake off. They're going to flake the fuck off. I'll just call it what it is. They're going to flake off. And you're going to be like, can I and Grandma to not do that? And I feel like that's when this this nice little lesson is going to come right in and be like, wow. I feel like you're going to be guarded at first, though. So it's going to be slow. All right? That's what I got for you, babe. That is what I got for you. All right. Manuela General. Now I have to separate the dice. Oh, I'm funny. Crack myself up. How is everybody doing out there? Hi, I'm Tara or Twitch. For anybody joining in, I am a crazy eclectic witch who does free reads here on TikTok. I do take donations. Donations are pretty awesome, and it does guarantee you a read. I do not have any minimum donation. Um, as of now, I might later on in my life, but as of right now, I do not. So... That's what it is. All right, Manuela. Good. I, okay, it's better than not. You know, I feel you. I don't know fucking now. I do. I feel you, Morgan. I'm okay too. Manuela, general. All right. Oh well, thank you. I appreciate that. What's my zeal? I don't know. I know I have one, but I have no idea. I don't know. I know my cash apps up here. Um, anything is uh, my PayPal is like Urban Spice. My cash app is Twitch's T. Yeah. All right. Sorry. I do have Venmo. It is Tara Hogan 20. Yes. I said my fucking real full name. But yeah, that's what it is. But I'll be switching that too. Nice, Manuela. All right. First fucking thing. It's also Capricorn energy. You might be dealing with the Capricorn. If not, you are dealing with the devil energy. All right. For me, a devil energy is a variety of different things. It could also be an external person, but the devil energy can also be a mindset. Ego, narcissism, lying, um, kind of BSing. There's, I kind of feel like you intuitively know that there's a bullshitter in your corner somewhere. All right. I'll look on my cash app. It should be Twitch's T. Without the parenthesis. Did I ch Shit. I didn't change it on here. I am so sorry. Alright. But I do. I feel like you're dealing with this devil energy right now. And I honestly, I feel like it, I feel like it's a narcissist. It's somebody who is just completely not at, like karmic. Karmic as fuck. All right, I'm just going to call it what it is because they're coming in and they're creating this flat out. They are creating nothing but freaking chaos and make doing it maliciously. Like this is out of malice. All right, because they're trying to gain control and hinder like this growth and ascension in your circle. Like it's a very narcissistic and uncontrolling energy. Um, I really feel like, though, you're stepping into your power and you're placing boundaries. If you have not placed boundaries, you are, like, literally on the verge of placing boundaries. Because you're like, I'm not doing this anymore. I even feel like there's something going on involving um, stipulations. 
I don't know if you guys are together or if you're not. Um, but there is going to be some sort of like... I, I don't know why I just did that. Like separation. I That's... It's hard because I feel it in your heart. You're trying to do the right thing. When I step into your energy, I literally feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place right now because you still have love, but you realize that this is not the love that you want in 20 years. This might not be the person that you want to have a conversation with in 20 years. You know, even if you guys aren't together, this is something that you're like, my boundaries will be up for a long time after this, bro. Like, you, you, this is not happening. And I feel like you're going to place these boundaries. And honestly, I think it's going to shock some people. And I think that it's really going to put this person back into a place where they're like, you know what? I'm not doing this. But there is going to be a lot. There is no union in this, okay? There is no growth and expansion. Because I really feel like this person is doing this shit out of this. I really do. I know, guys. I'm sorry. I cannot remember cash apps and Venmos and shit. I promise I'll get my life together for at, for the live on Sunday. Because I will go live on Sunday as well. Um, So, because I haven't changed stuff back. There was a scammer that tried to take my cash app. I It's been a thing. I was not happy about it. Oh, yeah. You're stepping back into your power. Yeah. Oh, the cat scared me. Yeah, because you're not going to do all this. You're like, I'm walking away from this. You know, anything that I've done to try and make peace with you, you have literally thrown it in my face. And then you've turned around and blamed me, you fucking gaslighter. Like, let's just call it what it is. Like, and so you're going to step back into this energy. And you're going to be that queen. And I feel like you're going to make a really new path for yourself. But this devil energy holding you back. Holding you back. I even, yeah, because in your star, your wish fulfillment, you want peace. You want the things that you know are going to make your life better. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just like, I don't, I don't like your hot dog water vibes. You can send the fucking pot for all I care, bro. Like, really, that's really kind of the vibe that I'm feeling. So you're going to grow in a scent. And you are manifesting your wish fulfillment at this point. But right now, it's in the manifesting phase. Only you can take the next step to that world card. Or that star card. You know what I mean? Like, because you're there. You're on that route. You've got these things. But you know in your heart, this no longer serves you. And you're taking this lesson. You are taking this lesson with you. And this lesson... You know, sometimes rejection is protection and motherfucking redirection. And I really feel in this, you have done all that you have could. Like, I honestly, I don't know why I just heard six months. But there's something that's going to be like a huge shift, transition. I don't know if that is going to be a certain date in six months. It's going to get this ball rolling or create a final, you know what I'm saying? A finalization. I usually don't get a lot of legal stuff, but there's legal stuff going on. That could also be an opportunity of some sort of conclusion or at least where the next step is for this dissolution. Because that they don't serve you. They that it that lesson is learned. And I don't feel like you you're gonna go back to that. Flat out. Because you're stepping into your power. You are gifted as frick, by the way. So if anybody has ever told you you're gifted, I honestly feel like you know. <sighs> I'll just, I think that there's something going on with mediumship with you. I just feel it. I don't know why I just heard spirits, but like, I even feel like when you were a little girl, you like seeing things. Your imaginary friends are not imaginary, sweetheart. So, I feel like you're very, like, you're there. There's something going on with your mediumship, okay? So, if anybody donated, I'm sorry I don't get the stupid notifications. So. Okay. Be on here for a little bit longer. There was one that I was, like, looking at, and now I can't, like, 
Listen, my ADD is so bad, guys. I'm so sorry. Kelly, are Greg and I going to reconnect? I was hoping that you were here. I did not see your comments for a minute. So, Kelly, are Greg and I going to reconnect? I do feel like y'all are going to get reconnect. Because I feel like you guys actually are more soul connected than y'all realize. Okay, um, somebody's on the brain. Like, I feel like you guys are energetically in each other's minds a lot. Um, I honestly feel like if you guys are not physically, physically connected at this point, or the text messages are very rare, you guys are doing a lot of talking, honestly, in the 5D. Start your business, Mandy. Start your business. Start it. Start it. So, I, that totally distracted me. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but, no, I do. I feel like there is going to be a reconnection because you guys are both in the head and heart space. All right? There's a lot of opportunity for this, but I feel like the hindrances in this is the defensiveness of being open with somebody else. Okay? There is the choice of either staying or going for both of you. Honestly, this is not just a one-sided energy that I'm feeling. Um, I do feel like there is the opportunity for union, but it's going to take the dissolution, the expectation of what it is. Um, because honestly, I feel like with the, I'll just call it what it is. The masculine energy really likes to flow. All right. Um, I don't know if there is an issue with commitment or there has been a past trauma recently involving relationships. It's a big one. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Um, my kitty decided to come up here. Of course. What are you doing, Frey? Sorry. Oh, this is Freya. It's Freya's ass. Sorry. Um, but I do. I feel like, you know, there is this opportunity for union and there is this opportunity for growth. But it's going to take this defensiveness and this dissolution of what love is for this to happen. Um, there's a lot of past hurt. Um, and I really feel like it's on the masculine side because it's like, this is going so good. I'm waiting for the other suit. This is Freya. This is my baby, my familiar. Um, but I do. I really feel like there could be a beautiful union in this. Please don't eat my hair on live TV. What the fuck? Um, yeah. But it's going to take rest. Go with the flow. Because you even got the Ten of Pentacles, which for me is a wish fulfillment. It is an openness and it's an allowance what's to happen. The reconnection, um, I don't keep, I don't really feel until like, I keep on hearing nines. So that could be the ninth, could be nine weeks. It could be a September. So there's definitely that like little segment energy. And I believe, cause there you go. Thank you. And honestly, I feel it's because both of you guys are focused on different areas of your life right now. She got kitty hair on me, but I love that fucking cat. So take it. But there is a beginning. There is a reconnection. And there is going to be an excitement and an openness. And a lot of lust. I don't know why I feel that. But, like, there's a lot of lust in this situation. And I dig it. It's nice. So, that's what I have. But choices will be made. All right. Let's see where we're at. Ashley, well, Dave and I met through TikTok. Talk to me again. Did she just do what I think she did? She just, she, my cat's retarded, but I love her. I love her. Okay. Boop. You're very welcome. Thank you for letting me read you. I truly appreciate it. David and I met through TikTok. Talk to me again because he isn't talking to me today. Um, there's something going on with family or friends today. Um, I feel like, honestly, it's one of those situations where it's like I just didn't have time. It wasn't anything personal. Um, you might even get wherever you are in the world. Um, you might actually get a good evening text or a good morning text. Okay. Are they going to talk again? All right. 
affirm that. I want to double, I'm like making sure. I'm making sure. Because I'm feeling like y'all will talk again, but I don't think that this is going to be a connection that stays. Um, you got the lovers in reverse, which for me is not just a lack of choice, but that's a lack of connection in time. Right now, it's a very, it shows that there's a newness. It shows that, the, you know, when you guys do talk, the communication is awesome. Um, I even see that there is a lot of similarities within your both. But honestly, I don't think it's like out of anything, like there's not a third party energy or anything else. I really am just getting the feeling that things, life is just going to take you guys to in different directions. It's nothing bad. You actually received the Wheel of Fortune, was, which for me is like a growth and opportunity and a change in the cycle. So if you've been feeling like a little stagnant or stuck in certain areas, things are actually going to uptick for you. Okay. As far as for him, I feel like with his energy, there's something going on that he needs to focus on because he's responsible for something else beside himself. Whether it's helping a parent, being that friend, there's something also that could be going on with his pentacles as well that could actually make you guys like maybe not get into this full talk for a while or anything else. Um, do I think that it could be a random like, hey, how are you? Absolutely. Do I feel like you guys are going to be on this level of talking every day? It really is going to be incumbent upon the choices that you guys make. Okay. Um. Because, again, you got another choice card. Let's see what we got. But then you got the tower. And the queen of wands. Which, for me, I love. The queen of wands is actually one of my favorite cards. If you guys do not know, the queen of wands is a witch of tarot. So, not only is she in her power, but she knows her power. And she is divinely protected by her black fucking cat. Okay? So, you're going to step back into, you're going to step into your power. Even if you guys don't talk back, but because I feel like if you, you know, I feel like there could be another one on the horizon. I just called it. How was I see that? But I do. I feel like there could be somewhere. <laughs> it is so funny because magic is playing right now in the background. So, yeah. I do feel like you are going to step into that energy. I don't think it's going to be a huge like, oh my gosh, we're going to get married and have 22 kids. Don't do that. It's a horrible idea. Um, you know, by a dog. By a dog. Yeah, I don't see all that happening. I'm sorry. I don't. Because I, I, I even see the tower and then stepping away. So, that is what I got for you. I'm sorry. I'm not one of those readers who's like, oh, yes, everybody's going to fall in love. And you're going to have A, B, C, and D. Like, sometimes it's just a word. And that's okay. That's okay. okay. Because you know what? Rejection is protection and redirection to the shit that is meant to be in your way. Like, honestly. Okay. So full. Well, D. Oh, no. What will happen with Andy and Rick? You know done well when you cast your spell. You know what? You get a little tired. I'm sorry. I love this damn song. I haven't heard it in a while. All right. So there we are. What will happen with Rick and Andy? Why do you want to know? That sounds so bad, but all right, what will happen? Okay, so there is an immature energy and there is conflict surrounding this, okay? I don't know if recently a truth has been revealed or if there has just been some guardiness dealing with communication, but there is anxieties at play and there is this conflict. Um, Right now, I feel like there is actually a standstill because... There's anxieties, and it's not just in one party. There's a lot of heartbreak going on in this situation right now. I'm just going to call it what it is. A lot of defensiveness and a lot of fucking ego. A lot of ego. 
there's a lot of ego on both sides. And it's the ego of honestly wanting to find a resolution but not able to communicate what each of you want. It's crazy because I really feel like both of you guys want a solution and you receive the Ten of Cups. Which, of course, is wish fulfillment. is that completion. You know, I feel like you guys are at this impact. All right? I'm just going to say what I'm going to say. So, you have plan A. This person has plan G. But at the end of the day, if you guys reach Z, why does it matter which fucking path you choose? There can be a common ground. And I feel like, hi, Erin. And I feel like you guys are actually going to go to, I was looking for you on Facebook, my freaking Twitch's page, man. We'll talk about it later. But I think I'm just going to start announcing on TikTok from here on out anyways. But yes, do I feel like you, like, do I feel like there could be a beautiful piece? Absolutely. Do I feel like the egos need to get a little bit out of the way? Absolutely right now. I'm just going to call it what it is. There is a lot of ego placed in this situation right now. And it's going to take some time. And it's going to take some openness. Oh, I love this. Because you got new beginnings. There is a new beginnings. Yeah, because I couldn't see comments. So... Seven back into power. Immaturity. There's an immature energy who's not talking. Devil up in the head. The ego. The displacement. Somebody is not feeling worthy enough either. So I don't know if that is how they're feeling right now as well. But somebody is not feeling worthy enough in this situation. And it might need a gentle reminder. Even if it's something as beautiful as a text message. Hey. Thinking of you. I hope you will. Um, they if it's resonating with you, then it is. I am talking to you too. Um, my collectives. I usually do horoscope collectives once a week called Weekly Links. So, which you can catch me on Tuesdays for those. Tuesdays are my Weekly Links. So yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of time. It's gonna take somebody getting out of their head. And realizing that this ego is stopping the one thing that both of you guys want, which is your wish fulfillment. But this energy does not feel good enough. Um, I don't know. And I usually don't speak on this, but I don't know if there is some sort of um, depression, mental issues, um, Things of that nature. Uh, I don't feel like there's, you know, like anything super crazy. But this is it. Because this person wants to come back and kind of, and start anew. They don't know how to. I don't know how. I, I don't know how they're going to approach in this situation. Because honestly, I don't know if they feel that they are worthy enough to approach. Is the Ten of Cups there? Absolutely. But so is that Devil Energy with the Ego. So, but death, new beginnings. Union card. That union is there. Gotta get out of the fucking ego, though. That's a big one that I keep on seeing. And worthiness. Immature. It does show that there was to see. Yeah, I think that you said that in the thing where, like, pretty much, like, they lied about who they were on some things. Um, Tara Hogan, 20. I'll double check my Venmo. What I'll do is I will double check all my like cash apps, my Venmos, my all that stuff. And I, I had a link tree up here. I believe I can still put my link tree up. So I will do that over the weekend. Okay. So, but this person lied about who they were. Whether it was their stability, whether it was something as simple as like, I live in a three bedroom house. No, bitch, you live in an RV. And if you would have just told me that, I would have accepted you anyways. But you cannot accept yourself. I don't know what. Save your tears came on. So yeah. I feel like that's his head. He doesn't know why. He doesn't know why. There's past trauma. There's commitment issues with this situation um, as well. I feel like there's things when it comes to a maternal figure. I'm... He runs. He's always ran. 
and he doesn't want to run this time so it's very very in his head very so that's as little as I have for you all right See, and that's what I love about TikTok, too. I can, like, jam out. We can listen to music together, and we can have fucking fun. I can have a drink and just have fun with you guys and, like, do readings and be awesome and be my quirky, weird self. I don't know why I had to say that because I'm so mad at Facebook. If you guys do not know, I'm new to TikTok. Okay, and I'm not trying to sound about me. I know I sound all ego and bullshit and everything else. I'm actually a very insecure person who suffers with a lot of anxiety issues. True story. I really do. Um, but I've been on TikTok from or on Facebook for almost two years. Okay, doing readings, like going on a lot of things, you know. And I don't know what it is. Like the past couple months, I cannot get shit when it comes to Facebook. I just don't enjoy it anymore. It's so lame. They haven't mute. They mute all my videos. All my videos. It's just lame. But I do do a podcast. I do do a podcast that airs on Facebook. It is called 2H and Back. It's with me and my bestie, Ryan H. And she's actually the founder and creator of um, Tarot to Tarot, which is where I started, actually. I did. I totally started. Actually, I started Intuitive, which I am still a part of. Um, but we do podcasts every Wednesday. And we talk about, like, our spiritual journeys and the bullshit that we've all had to experience. And, like, we are just literally two intuitive turds trying to figure shit out with you guys. Facts. So, if you guys are ever on Facebook, check us out. I, we, I, we also have a YouTube channel, too. It's called 2H and Back. So, all right. Eleanor, general, please. Eleanor, general. All right. Sorry about my rant. Sorry. I throat shocker on myself. Okay. I love that damn cup. Just I am. All right. Eleanor, thank you so much for being here as well and appreciate your patience. Melody, will he ever commit to me? No. He has commitment issues. They have commitment issues. Go look. My, um, we did not do the podcast this week. There were some things that come up. But if you did not check out the horoscopes, those are on my uh, thing. All right. I really do. General. Oh, look at you stepping back into your power. Oh, my gosh. You are getting a union as well. Releasing of anxieties. Whew, when I step into your energy, though. And I usually don't get, you know, I usually don't try and talk about health or anything, but I feel like this is a message for you. If there is something going on with the GI or something with your gut line, pay attention to it, okay? I just heard bio. So, like, for me, bio could be bionomes, some sort of enzymes, things of that nature. If there's something going on with your gut health, pay attention to it, please. Um... I also feel like that could also be due to stress. I don't know if they're... I feel like you just went through an awakening if you haven't yet. And you're also in the third phase of your awakening. Which for, you know, there's bliss, there's bullshit, and then there is the growth and going towards that path. We're going to be doing a whole podcast on awakenings. And the stages of awakenings here in the coming weeks. Um, But I do, I feel like you're, you really let go a lot of things. All right. And you're realigning yourself back. You're realizing your strength. I don't know if there was a person that was in your environment that was kind of pushing you to like settle. Settle is a big thing that I'm feeling. Settle. Because you're realizing you're stepping back into that power. You received the high priestess, which in the Alice deck, it actually has pomegranates. If you guys do not know, pomegranates are associated, I believe, with Aphrodite. With Aphrodite... Beauty, vitality, growth, expansion, 
love of self, beauty, things of that nature. And you're realizing that strength because you're realizing that this no longer serves you. Those anxieties of the past are exactly where they're meant to be. And whatever this character was, is no longer going to be a character in the next chapter. Because you realize I'm the main motherfucking character and you're a goddamn houseplant that I don't want to water anymore. Fuck you, Aloe. So, I don't know why I said it like that. That's messed up. I'm sorry. I'm going to hell, guys. I am so sorry. So sorry. But I do, because you're on this path of your growth and expansion. You know that you got all this. You are the Knight of Pentacles. You know what the thing is with the Knight of Pentacles, though, is you got all, all the tools to become the king, but you need to kick that horse in the ass to get it to move. Make the movements. You are not going to achieve what you want if you don't kick your horse in the ass. Okay? I'm just calling it what it is. I know that sounds like, I'm sorry if that comes off bitchy. I'm just not trying to. It's just that motivation. Because you got this. And I feel like even in the headspace a little bit, you're like, but damn, do I, do I really have it all? Yes. You're still saying you're ready to be that king and to move forward and to go to through this process. There's something going on in October for you as well. I don't know why I heard 10, 12. Could also be an angel number. <laughs> and you better fucking kick that horse. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I just have to laugh because I, I, I feel you. The answer to that is that resonates. I'm sorry, but that totally resonates. Even for me, because I could have kicked that horse today so fucking hard. I'm just saying. It resonates. Thank you. That is all. I should quit my tarot job now. I should just quit it. I'm 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 just a mess. <laughs> and the masculine came up in reverse. I'm now moving. That's awesome. So that's what I have for you. You have the, you have it. You got the, you got the motive. Just kick the horse. Kick it. And if not, then God bless it. I know that you're going to take those two hands, grab that cart and just keep it pushing. And you're going to be, and then honestly, I don't know why I just see, like, I literally envisioned somebody looking at another person and smirking going, I fucking told you. I told you. <laughs> and that's what it is. Like, that's really what I'm getting for you. And you got trust. Trust the process. It's a big thing, too. You got to trust the process. It is not easy being breezy. It is not. The heart, and, and all of us readers say it, and all of us virtual people, stay in the moment. It's hard. Even for us. Okay? It is. We have to trust the process, too. And I feel like Spirit's saying that for you. Trust the process, okay? Trust the process. You guys got, you, you got this. So, <clears throat> all right. Let's see. I'm actually kind of glad that Alice decided to come out tonight. She hasn't been out in a while. Ashley, love reading. You're welcome, sweetheart. Thank you so much for letting me read you. Ashley, love reading. Ashley, are you currently talking to somebody? Because I'm kind of getting this energy of a situationship. If you're not currently talking to somebody or you're in a relationship, um, there could be some sort of growth and ascension is what I'm feeling. If not, this is a new energy coming in. That is not mature, not wanting to be stuck in a, like, this is the opportunity for a healthy change, if not a healthy person coming in, um, who actually wants an adult healthy relationship. Um, I'm feeling like nine of cups. That's what, that's growing. That's allowing the cups to be filled in a very steady pace in a very like genuine way. You know, for me, the nine of cups, even though 
It's the process of growing. That's exactly what the beauty in it is. It's the process of. So I do. I feel like that. I love that. So yeah, it's coming in. But you know what it's going to take, especially when it comes to love, is not looking at the empty cups and realizing what you bring to the table as well. Um, I feel like if you are not with somebody or currently talking to somebody. Yes. Okay. So I feel like it's really about looking at the cups that are filled and not the cups that are not. Um, it's taking those things into the momentary value and realizing that sometimes going with the flow is as good as it's going to get for the moment, especially if there's a distance. Um, I don't know if there's something going on as far as travel. I don't know why I just heard deployment. So I don't know if there's military involved or things of that nature. But there is this growth and separation. Um, I do feel like there's going to be a reconnection back. And a, the wish for them. I'm so glad that these are coming out tonight. So glad that these are coming out. Because, you know, a lot of people, like, we get a little construct about love but that wish fulfillment is there that ten of cups that union is right there so it's about i mean ten of cups is also a completion but it's also a positive comp completion it's a union okay somebody's going to be scared to make the choice though the choices will be made There's going to be a conversation about whatever past there was. And the thing, and you know what? Honestly, it's not even a bad conversation. It's a healing conversation. This is a healing conversation. If you guys are like in the process of doing that, um, there's a release of ego. There's a release of a lot of different things. Even the things that could have like been an issue in a, in the past union. Because I don't see, like, another energy, like a new, new energy. It's all this, like, I can't, I do fucking see past. And I see that there was, like, immaturity in the past. I see the double energy, which is narcissism or lying or bullshit or just, like, you know, immature energies. I've seen that there was conflict. But then I also see, like, now there's a change. There's, like, this shift. And it's, like... I'm here to fill the cups. I want to be the Ten of Cups. I'm here with, you know, I'm here on a different level of understanding, of perspective. I'm, you know, the growth. There's a lot of growth that has taken place. All right. Do I feel like it? And you got the star. The star. I don't do pregnancy, Julia. The star. So wish to me is also wish fulfillment. Okay. I'll be honest, though, if this is to reconnect well, with this past, you're actually going to place some very healthy boundaries. And I feel like they are actually going to appreciate that more than you think because they realize that you're also at that other level as well. They want that other level with you. So because you're you're a what if. And I know that that sounds so cheesy and corny, but we all have that one person. Sometimes we're like, man, if I could go back and actually do something right, what if our outcome would have been different? And I feel like you're that, you're that motivation. You're that part for them to look inside themselves and want to be better and yourself. That's a big thing that I'm feeling too. You've been looking inside yourself because you're like, I know my worth. I'm realizing that I am a fucking queen. I'm magic. So, that's what I have for you. Alright, there was one more. I was looking. I These damn comments. Sometimes I'm really bad about the comments, guys. Um, Bro hits Ariana. What was it? What did you... Um, did you ask a specific question or did you want a general love? And I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for being patient with me and waiting. No, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for letting me read you. I appreciate you. A love? Okay. Love reading. Okay. 
Love, love, love. You've done a lot of growth and learned a lot of your inner strength. In the past, in your relationships, there's been lies and deceit that was thrown your way. Um, I even feel like you given some of your boundaries down for the past when it comes to your relationships. But now that is shifting. Um, I don't know if you are currently in a relationship. But there's a union of there's a union coming. But it's not coming in a fast pace. Um, actually, I'll take that back. I don't know why it came out that way. It is coming in a fast pace. I love your energy. Thank you. all So if you are not dealing with somebody, this is a new energy coming in. If you are dealing with somebody or there is like this dissolution, there's like, I'm, I'm trying to listen because they're all over the place. They're scattered. I just heard two. I just heard three. I just heard pass. So. To be honest with you, I feel like there's something going on with the past that needs a little bit of healing and reflect. God, if the, okay. Are you dealing with the Cappy? Are you, is this person a Capricorn or has Capricorn in their chart? Because I'm telling you what, this, this must be a thing for everybody coming up with this devil energy because we're about to you know we just had the moon in Sagittarius okay we're about to go into oh my god I'm gonna say it we're about to go into cancer season cancer is all about emotions past things you know the what ifs on a lot of different things but then our moon is gonna be in Gemini which is we are scattered okay all over the place and it's just like what the fuck oh Virgos Virgios Virgos, I love my cancers. Don't get, I, I love my can. I'm a saggy. Okay. So my cancers are important to me, but I love y'all. Y'all are emotional. Okay. And then y'all get crabby and, and, but we love you. Okay. I do love you, but there's something, there's, there's some like, there's, there's cappy energy. Okay. Just cappy. But this is like a stagnant and a growth. And it, the devil came out again. So I'm going to affirm that. But like, I don't know if this is going to. Yeah, it's. God damn it, Freya. Sorry. She's eating my herbs. Okay. At least it's not deadly. She might actually be eating the catnip. So you do got the world card, though, and a new beginning. But you know what I think it's going to take? I think it's going to take you being completely like, if we do have a second chance, I see her. If, you, if we do have this chance, we are not repeating the cycles. But I do want you to be wary of the red flags. If this is an ex that you have had a toxic situation with or anything else, realize like, that's where your boundaries are placed. You don't want to go back to what you know is not filling your cups, you know? Um, but do I, I do see a new beginning. It is going to take an openness on vulnerability. But there is something going on with that ex. But then there is something going on with the new... But this ex is going to come back. I don't know if y'all are talking yet. But there is going to be communication. I just heard the fourth. So... There might be a thing where you're like, yo, you want to go to a barbecue with me? Or y'all might be seeing each other on the 4th. There might be an actual physical 3D connect on the 4th or around the 4th of July, okay? Um, I just ain't liking this devil energy, though. Because it's like with the moon card, that's illusion. There, That's deceit somewhere. That's... That's... There's something going on with that. I'm going to affirm that some more, but I there is something going on with that. Four of cups. All right. So with this devil energy, I'm just going to call it, I feel like there could be a third party. Whether that is somebody that he has to deal with to close out a cycle, or there is some sort of third party energy involving this devil energy. 
Okay. I don't feel like it's like this huge cheating or this or that, but the tower moment came up. And the star in reverse. Which is, to me, not a very strong, confident energy. Okay. I, that, this is so, so, I'm sorry. I hate giving bad news. You can tell I don't like giving bad news. And I know that it affects the heart space and stuff. But this, this might not, you might realize how much this isn't going to serve you. Yeah. If you place those boundaries, that's that would help a lot. But there needs to be a reason why. I feel like out of anything, it's about you stepping back into your power as well and going, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this either. Like, you can't be... You can't be fucking half wet, bro. Like, let's just call it what it is. So, there is a third party energy that keeps on coming up. Do I see a union for long in that? No, I do not. Do I see a little bit of back and forth? Yes, I do. So, be prepared for that as well. Um, That's something that I am seeing. Okay. The spirit wants you to go back into your balance. They want you to realign with yourself again and step back into your feminine energy. They want those things. They want you to step back into that empress energy and focus on the things that you can control and that you can focus on. Because there's other growth for you as well. Um, I see that there's more growth for you on a totally different level than just relationship there's a lot of self-growth there's a lot of boundary placement and to be honest with you i feel like there's a lot of knowing who you are on a deeper level in the coming months there's a lot of shadow work heading your way if you are not doing shadow work i will honestly say it helps tremendously it truly does um i actually have a burn book kit that i am going to be selling here it's only like 25 bucks honestly um but what it does is it will actually have a burn book in it for you um it will have a couple of the candles that i have created because i do create things as well and then i have a very special calming oil that i have created that smells freaking amazing so be on the lookout for that. Or you can honestly go to Five and Below. They have a burn book. They're awesome. They are freaking awesome. Okay? But that X, I don't think that X is going to serve you, sweetheart. You deserve more than to be somebody else's other. Flat out. Your energy is way too good. You have given way too much. You just, you just are such a kind soul. And you see the good in so many people. Like, when I step into your energy, like, literally, you're just like, I know they're a dick, but, but I can't, but everybody can change. There's always a chance. I love that. I love that. I love that in your energy. I really, really do. It actually is very beautiful. It really is. All right. So, I think I've been on here for a couple hours, guys. I don't know how long I've been on here, but it is after midnight where I am at. So, I will be back. Unless my cat keeps on eating my catnip. I will be back here on Sunday. Okay? Um, I'm going to try and make it during the day um, as best as I can. If not, I'll be back Sunday evening, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You will see me on here a couple times a week. So, I do these free readings. I promise I will get the donation links all back to freaking normal. If I have missed you, I am sorry. I do apologize. Um, that's, I, I, I'm lame. That's pretty much it. Um, if you like me, follow me here on the talk. If you like me more, follow me on my YouTube. All my replays are on my YouTube. Okay? Including my wiki links, my shorts. The lives that I do here, I download them all to YouTube. So if you received a reading from me and you want to do a playback, it's over there. Like, share, subscribe. Um, all my other links are here in the bio. And y'all are loved, man. Here at Twitches, we're just a fam of crazy, awesome people just trying to figure this thing out called motherfucking life. So, I appreciate each and every one of you. I would not be doing this without you guys, honestly. 
You are my reasons for a lot of things. Other than the people in my immediate, of course. Gotta love the kiddos and the babes. But at the end of the day, this is what it's about. It's about you guys and getting out as many messages as I can for you guys. So I love you all very much. Thank you for joining the Twitch movement tonight. I love it. And if you like me, again, follow me. And I'd love to see you again on my lives. All right? Bye, guys. Boop.